Hey guys, so welcome back to the vlog channel. I told you that I would be doing my what's in my hospital bag video as soon as it was packed and it is finally done. So I am 37 weeks pregnant now and I cannot believe our baby is going to be here in three weeks, hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. So we figured it was time to have the hospital bags packed since my doctor said I can basically go any day now. And this is only going to be my bag. Um, I'm not really packing much for the baby except for two outfits to choose between to take her home in. And then my husband packed his own bag and it really just has his clothes and like necessities in it. So I'm really just showing you what I'm taking for me. So I guess first I'll just show you the actual bag. It is ugh, so heavy right now. But it is this big tote bag from Bath and Body Works. And it is rose gold of course. I got it when I think it was like during Christmas time or something. When you can like spend so much and then get this for $20 with a bunch of goodies inside. So that is the big old bag that I'm bringing. It's so heavy. I really thought I packed light though, but we'll see. Also, just keep in mind that I am a first-time mom, so everything I have packed is just based off research I have done and other videos I have watched and like apps and books I've read, so I've never done this before. So I might have some crazy stuff or you might think I don't have enough, but I have never went to the hospital to have a baby before, so don't hold it against me. So I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. First, I just have my makeup bag. And this is honestly just like my everyday stuff. I'm not going to go through it. But there's like just the basic stuff like for eyebrows and like some concealer and some blush. I don't know if I'm going to feel like doing my makeup in the hospital. But if I do want to, I will have it with me. Um, I'm going to let people come see us in the hospital. going to be taking pictures. And I'm a makeup person. So... Next thing I have is my phone charger. This is just an extra charger, so I threw it in there so I wouldn't forget it. And then I have my camera charger for the vlog camera. I don't have the vlog camera in here right now because some footage is actually uploading onto my computer as I speak. Um, but clearly I will have my vlog camera with me to vlog and take pictures. So I had to bring the charger and again I just pull it out of the bag whenever I need it. But I keep it in there just in case. Next thing, I just have my glasses. Um, they're literally just basic, just Ray-Ban glasses. I do wear contacts, so whenever I don't have my contacts in, I have my glasses on. So, just want to bring those in case I want to wear them, like, before bed or anything. Okay, now I guess, like, moving on to some clothing items. I have two pairs of socks. Um, everyone keeps saying that your feet get really cold in there because it's cold in the hospital. I hate wearing socks when I'm laying in bed, so I don't know how often I'm going to wear them, but... I figured I'd bring them just in case my little toesies get cold. I have a sports bra in here. I think this was like 7 bucks from Walmart. I figure my boobs and stuff might be leaking, so I didn't want to bring anything too crazy. So this is just a sports bra to be comfy if I want to strap the girls down a little bit. And then I'm also bringing an extra nursing bra. This one is from Amazon. And you know how nursing bras work. You just can pop a boob out real quick and easy. I figure I'm going to be wearing a nursing bra when I go to the hospital because I'm wearing them every day now just because nothing else fits me. So that way when I'm at the hospital I will have two. And then just a couple of pairs of some big old granny panties that I grabbed from Walmart. Um, I didn't want to bring a lot of underwear because everyone keeps saying how good like the mesh underwear are that the hospital provides and like all you do is like ruin your underwear anyway so I didn't want to bring a lot of my own and them get ruined. I'd rather just wear the mesh ones that the hospital provides. So just brought those for like if I feel like wearing them basically. And then as far as a going home outfit, I'm not really worried about what I'm going to look like. We're just going to get in the car and go straight home. So I just have these black sweatpants. Well they're kind of like PJ pants and they um like cuff at the bottom. I got these from TJ Maxx for like 10 bucks I think. But just because I want to wear black in case there's any accidents, you know. And then literally just a mint t-shirt. Um, I think this is from Kmart. Just a plain long t-shirt because I figure if I'm wearing like a big old pad or something, you know, I want something to cover my butt. Um, but it's also a v-neck in case I do need to pop a boob out like right before we leave the hospital or right as soon as we get home or something like that. So 
staying comfy with the clothes, definitely. And then for PJs while I am in the hospital, I have this black nursing gown. So it is all lacy at the top because I'm trying to be cute, clearly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it's just a actual like gown. So I figured, you know, don't really want to wear pants because they're going to be up there checking you all the time. And then the little clasps just unhook in case I do need to nurse. And then that came with this robe to go over top of it. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see the print. It's like an animal print of some sort, and it's just dark gray and black. Just a nice light robe. You know, you know what a robe looks like. You can't really tell on the camera, but it ties and everything. Like, I might just stay in the hospital gown the whole time. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling, but as of right now, I'm feeling like when people come and visit me, I won't want to be in the hospital gown just because, like, your butt's out and stuff. So I, you know, throw that on or throw the robe over top of that or whatever. And then another pair of PJs that I have, these are also from TJ Maxx, is just um, a button-down nightgown. And I think, is it? Yeah, this is a Ralph Lauren, literally just a nightgown. Just would go to, like, about my knees. I really like the color of it. I hope I don't ruin it. Um, but it buttons down, so nice, easy access, again, because I want to nurse. So I'm trying to revolve all my clothes around easy access to the girls. And then that's it for clothes. I figured two pairs of PJs because at the most I'd be staying there is two nights, I'm pretty sure. Um, so then I also have a hairbrush and there's some hair stuck in it. Oh, and then I have some flip-flops. I just got these for a dollar at Michael's, I think. Um, I heard that the hospital floors are really like grimy and nasty, so I probably won't want to wear bare feet in there, so one dollar flip-flops and then I have a few um what are these nipple covers nipple pads nipple pads nursing pads bra pads to put in your boot on in your bra so you don't ruin it while your boobs are leaking so <laughs> these are the um Medela brands that's what kind of pump I have so I just picked up those but I got a few of those. I think they might provide these at the hospital. I'm not sure. I know they do provide like the mesh underwear and the pads and all that. So that's why I'm not bringing any of that stuff for me. Um, but they didn't mention about the like the booby part. So I am bringing my own of those. And then I do have the iPad in here in case me or my husband want to use it for whatever. Watch a show. I don't know, whatever we want to use the iPad for, they have free Wi-Fi at our hospital. And then I do have my toiletry bag. I'll just go through this really quick. First, I have my contact solution and my contact case. Next, I have a little mini Dove deodorant, a Jergens lotion just for my body, some Palmer's nursing butter for my nips, because I heard that it it's painful from the beginning. Toothbrush and toothpaste for obvious reasons. Some St. Ives oatmeal and shea butter body wash. Makeup remover wipes or just face wipes in case I'm feeling sweaty or gross or I need to wipe off some makeup and I don't feel like getting up and going to the sink. Just wipe one of those on. First Aid Beauty Facial Cleanser. And this is just a razor. Um, probably not going to be shaving my legs or anything, but got to shave those pits. Mm. Then I have the Not Your Mother's um, Dry Shampoo. Honestly, I'm not bringing shampoo and conditioner. I'm not bringing a blow dryer. I barely wash my hair at home. Like, I wash my hair once a week. So I know I'm not going to wash it in the hospital. And some people have said to me, like, you get so sweaty and nasty. Like, you're going to want to wash your hair. Like, honestly, I'm just going to use this. I promise. I'll be good. Then I have my face moisturizer. And finally, a mirror, just in case I want to look at myself as a dollar. And my Carmex, because I heard for whatever reason, your lips get really chapped during labor. So don't want to forget that. And I am almost done. So then I just have my UGG slippers. I figure I can just keep these beside the bed. And when I want to jump up real quick, just throw these on or not jump up real quick. I don't know how much I'm going to be jumping after I push a baby out. And finally, to my favorite part, the snacks. These are actually going to be my husband's bag because he has more room left in his, but I just grabbed them to show you guys. We got some Cheez-Its, some honey roasted peanuts, and then a huge bag of Trail Mix because this is my favorite snack ever. 
Um, I keep hearing how important snacks are just because the cafeteria is not always open and your husband might need it and then they don't let you eat while you're in labor so afterwards you're like dying for something so I can just imagine myself like uh. and then of course we'll probably bring like change for the vending machines and um they have a Keurig in the waiting room like for my family and everything so we will be good to go with that stuff. I don't know. I feel pretty well prepared. I feel like I have everything that I need. But of course, like any other moms out there, if there is something that, you know, you were in the hospital and you absolutely could not live without, please go ahead and leave it down in the comments below so I can add it to my bag because I don't want to, like, forget something that is detrimental. So definitely... If you have any advice or anything, leave it down below. But I think that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you did. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we will see you in the next video. Mwah.